Yes, sir, I'll send him through. He's ready to see you now. <sighs> Don't worry. He's having a good morning. So I say to my wife, I say, honey, if you want a fourth kid, that's fine by me. But unless she finally pops out a rascal with a pecker, she's going to be raising it on welfare. <laughs> Cheers. You have any kids, Danny boy? Ah, the first is on the way. Mm -hmm. We didn't want to rush into it or anything. I like that. It shows focus. And I gotta tell you, it's tough. Really tough. Drink up. I like you, Danny. I like you a lot. You've been working for me, what, uh, six years now? Oh, seven in May, sir. Uh, seven in May. Huh. Refill? No, no, I shouldn't. Of course. I'm still on Atlantic time. What was I talking about? Seven years. Uh, seven years. You hear about Matheson leaving? Uh, no. Yep, taking early retirement. Lucky for some. Not for me. Gotta find myself a solid replacement. Oh, really? Um, you didn't have anyone in mind, did you? Danny, you wanna talk business? It's just two friends having a drink. I didn't know. Okay. Have it your way. We'll talk business. So, you've been working under me for seven years, huh? In May. Hmm. And how many business proposals do you think that totals? Oh, gosh. Uh, I don't know. Uh, a lot. Not as many as Matheson, though, um, that's for sure. Something funny? Uh, no, no, nothing. Where did you go to school, Daniel? Fernhill School in Hampshire, sir. They teach you how to spell at Fernhill School, Hampshire? You, wh what do you... Answer the question, Danny. Yes, yes, they, they taught me to spell. Well, enlighten me. Spell story. Story. S-T-O-R-E-Y. Well, congratulations. Now here I thought you hit a typo. I mean, no big deal. But no, Mr. Six fucking years didn't realize that when you're in property management, when you're um, into project development like his fucking job entails, that when you're talking about how tall a goddamn building is, that you have to be accurate with what you're referencing. Like, look at me, I'm on top of this six S-T-O-R-Y building. No wonder you don't have any kids. If you had one last week, he'd be smarter than you now and you die of embarrassment. You wanna talk about promotions, make sure you've got the smarts to back up your big brass balls and interrupt the friendly chat. Get the fuck out of here. Unbelievable. What was that? Nothing. Just, sir, it's, in the UK, it's S-T-O-R-E-Y. What you're saying is, that's American. Are you, are you debating me? Well, no. I will not sit here and listen to you debate me. You wait here. Come in. What are you doing? Yes, Mr. Sterling? Danny here is finished with his drink. Take it. Sit. This is how it's gonna play out. I'm a nice guy, Daniel. And like I said, I like you, you piece of shit. So here are your three options. Option number one. You go out of this room, you sit at your desk, and you don't expect to leave for three fucking months. Doing what? Any fucking thing I say, any piece of shit that comes across your desk. Files need shredding, it's on you. Interview set up for Masterton's replacement, you're my guy. 
Look out that window behind me, Danny, because that's the last sunlight you're gonna see for a long time. Option number two, you get down on your knees and you kiss my fucking ring. Well, you have the audacity to sass me in my office, you're gonna kiss my ring and beg forgiveness. No, I'm not doing that. Then option number three, you pack up your desk and you head down 6-S-T-O-R-Y-S to the street. No notice, no severance, no references. Just gone. You can't do that. No, can't I? Well, what I've got here is business incompetence that in my book must have cost us at least oh, 10 proposals. I've also got a witness to you drinking on the job, and I've got you here in my office five minutes longer than any other employee has been where I can say that you, what? We're offering anything from a black eye to a suck dick in order to keep your job. Now the option's yours, you brainless, illiterate, ungrateful fuck. Fuck you. And before you go, repeat after me. You want fries with that? <laughs> Good. What do you say? I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry, sir. About what? For, for disagreeing with you. You brown-nosing piece of crap. Get the fuck out of my office. Oh, and Danny. Yes, sir? Keep up the good work.